welcome back everyone to At Home with the Tasting Spoon. Today I have a very, very yummy recipe to show you guys. We are taking things to Venezuela. So for those of you who don't know Venezuela's top dish, it's arepas. So they have wonderful cuisine. They have wonderful tasty cuisine, like homemade, mm, so yummy. But one of their most famous dishes is arepas. So arepas is basically made out of corn. Two types of flour, if you will. Um, they have white corn and yellow, yellow corn. The one that we're using today, it's called harina pan, which is actually made in Venezuela. So this is actually the flour, if you will, again, that they use to make the arepa. This is actually white corn, but you can find it in your, in your local supermarket. You're gonna see both. You're gonna see the white corn and you're gonna see the yellow corn. Traditionally, this is the flour that they use. So this is the flour that we're gonna use today. So it's super easy to make, so don't be intimidated. If you haven't done this before, it's, trust me, it takes a little bit of practice. The first time that I did it, no bueno. They were not round. They, listen, it was just no bueno. But I consider myself a little bit of a master now. And I have my husband to thanks because my husband is from Venezuela, so he has taught me. My background is actually from Puerto Rico. We make arepas, but our arepas are a little bit different because they're not with this flour and they're actually fried, which is super yummy as well. But we are going to stick today with the traditional Venezuelan arepa. And the type the arepa that we're going to make today, it's called reina pepiada. So reina pepiada, it's basically like a chicken salad with avocado. Super tasty. To make it, that will be the filling of our arepa. So arepas traditionally are made, obviously, round shape. So you'll do like a little patty. And it acts like as your bread, if you will. So you can use this arepa. They use it with a scrambled eggs. They use it like um, stuff with ham and cheese, like a sandwich. Or they have ton of fillings for arepas, like endless possibilities. One of my favorites is actually the reina papia. Super fresh, super filling, super, super yummy. And I hope you guys like it. So let's get started. Okay, so first thing is first. We are going to make our arepa dough and then we're going to make our filling while our arepas are cooking. Arepas take a little bit long to cook because you have to sear them and then cook the, the middle part. So it, it is a little bit of a process. Don't you worry. Stick with me and you're going to be a master making arepas on your next meal, okay? So the first thing that I want to show you is this. So do not be intimidated again. This is called the budar. For my Venezuelan people, this is where they make their arepas. It comes straight from Venezuela. Basically, it creates as your flat top that you basically have at home. You can use a non-stick pan, so don't you worry if you don't have this. But traditionally, it's made, it's made with this budar. The heat actually helps to create that beautiful sear that you see traditionally in arepas and then you lower the heat so you can cook the middle so traditionally this is what they use but it's literally like a mini plancha if you will material is basically the same you see but this is this is amazing nowadays they have different types of arepa makers that you can use you can use it in a flat top, you can use it in a little plancha, you can use it in a non-stick pan. Whatever you need, whatever you have, it's good, trust me. You don't need this, but traditionally, this is where they make it, okay? So for our dough, it's super simple how to make it. It's basically the harina pan and water. And any type of seasoning you would like to add, it's welcome. I've add um, salt, pepper, I've add a little bit of sazon which is to give it a little bit of color so literally endless possibilities so in the meantime that we are doing our dough i want to get this pan hot so i'm going to turn on the heat into medium heat you can do this at home as well because remember we want to create that sear when we do our arepa so the pan has to be hot okay so 
Let's make the dough. So we start with our harina pan. See, it's super, super fine. Super, super fine. And like you see, this is white corn. So the one that is yellow corn, you're going to see a little bit yellowy and your arepas are going to be a little bit more yellowy. So, and then water. So you don't want to add all at a time because remember this is corn. So for those of you that have done cornbread or used cornmeal, you, you would understand what I'm about to say. So when you work with corn, corn absorbs all the water. So you want to start a little bit at a time because the first gulp, it's going to absorb it. So remember that you can always add but not take back, right? So let's use that rule of thumb. So I'm going to add a little bit of salt, season that bad boy, beautiful you see how it has absorbed a little bit so now comes the fun part right you're going to dig in and mix this to create our dough so we do this this is kind of messy but fun okay I promise So you see how it's forming, like so. This indicates me that it needs more water, okay? Remember, I'm going to leave the detailed recipe in the comment box below, step by step with all the measurements. So you do it perfect the first time. Me, since I've done it so many times, I usually eyeball things, but that's just me. Trust me, with practice, you're going to do the same. This is the movement that you want to do. You see how it's coming together into a beautiful masa, to a beautiful dough. See how I put my handprint and it stays? It's exactly what you want to see. Boom. That indicates me that it has the perfect amount of water. You see? It's sticky, but it doesn't leave you with dough in your fingers. Sticky, but it holds its shape. That's the perfect masa, okay? We're going to let this rest right here until our pan is super hot and i'm going to show you how to make these okay perfect so i've lightly oiled my budare remember if you're doing it on a plancha or a skillet or a flat top lightly oil it okay so you are going to take about a handful or so of your arepa to make your arepa like this is usually a pretty good size like this is usually a pretty good size okay so now we are going to roll it roll it roll it roll it this is going to help you create a very beautiful and uniform arepa okay okay so you see you rolled it a little nice ball right then we're gonna press it press it down press it down you see you're almost there you're almost there okay so press it press it press it kind of like a sandwich plancha you know press it press it press it in a circular motion so that arepa it's round okay it's perfectly round perfectly round me i like them thin okay that's my personal preference so i literally go and press it down but it's literally up to you how you like them if you make them thinner they'll be a little bit more crispier 
than if you make them a little bit more, you know, fuller. And there you have it. Your perfect arepa! You see? Your perfect arepa. And now, listen to this. Boom! That is exactly what you want, okay? Exactly what you want. That's sizzle. I usually press it down a little bit more once it's in a plancha. And voila, we make more. So what we have right here, it's some shredded chicken, mayonnaise, garlic, cilantro, some chopped onions, mashed avocado, two avocados, and lemon some salt and some pepper okay so this is what we have right here we're going to incorporate everything together on a bowl we're going to start with our shredded chicken to our shredded chicken i'm going to add the garlic going to add our onions to add our mayo Now this is where my husband would say, a lot of mayo, okay? A lot of mayo. It has to be super creamy. So this is what we're doing. We are mixing this. Ready, we're going to be flipping our arepas. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Full. Let's continue with our filling. So we are going to be adding our cilantro now. And a little bit of our mashed avocado. We are going to add some lemon. We're going to add our cubed avocado. Just like so. So remember, you want actual avocado pieces to stay whole and a little bit of mash, you know? You want that texture. going to be adding in some salt and some pepper okay perfect flip them again this is a traditional mark of the arepa gorgeous so see now both sides are seared i'm going to lower the heat and they're going to just they're just gonna keep cooking on the inside, okay? And our beautiful filling has been made as well. Oh. This, you can literally just eat by itself or even with chips, slice of bread, but with the arepa. Oh, so good, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Alrighty, so once our arepas are done and fully cooked, I transfer them onto a cutting board to slice them open. So remember that this is hot, so you want to use maybe a little bit of a towel. And then with a serrated knife, I almost use this knife all the time to do this because it's super simple. It has the chart point and it's serrated, so it'll help me cut around. So what you want to do, indent and then just go around. Go around but remember we don't want to cut it all the way we want a pocket so once you feel like you've went around stop 
pull the knife out. You see the steam? <sighs> so good. And that's it. Ta-da! Okay. And we're going to repeat with the other one. Pijarepita. I just wanted to show you that you can do them small as well. This one you can save maybe for later because I'm just going to eat this too right now because I'm super hungry. So this you can save for later and how you save it, literally using the same towel, pop it like this so it conserves the heat, keeps the moisture in, and you can put it like in the microwave so it's unsealed. Don't put it in the fridge because they're going to get a little bit hard and then you can save it for a snack for later. So now we're going to fill these two bad boys. That filling. Just pile it inside. Oh, this is delicious. Oh my God, like look at this. Oh, so good. So, so good. I can't wait. I cannot wait, okay? Cannot wait. Yes, it can get messy, but it's okay. It's an arepa. It's made to be messy. And traditionally, they're super, super, super stuffed. So this is what you want. Okay? Okay. I'm going in, okay? Mmm. mayo mix all over my face right now okay okay i wiped everything right now because i'm so happy this is bomb the bomb.com right now okay you guys need to try this recipe you saw it was super super simple to make if you have any questions don't forget to leave them in the comment box below i'll be happy to answer any questions you may have and let me know if you guys make my recipes. I love to know when you guys make my recipes. If you DM me through Instagram, if you comment on the comment box below, let me know. I love it. I love to know your creations. I love to see your own creations and your own spin on my recipes. It makes me happy. Truly. If you have any questions, just let me know. I hope you enjoyed this recipe today as much as I did. I love making arepas. It's so easy. For a simple dinner, simple lunch, quick, easy, boom. Whip up an arepa, fill it up with whatever you want. Listen, whatever you want. And boom, dinner, lunch, done, and even breakfast. Stuff it with scrambled eggs. I'm telling you, this can be a great substitution for bread. Super, super, super good. So. I hope you enjoyed this recipe again. Don't forget, I leave all the directions step by step on the comment box below. And don't forget to subscribe to stay in the know. Click that ding so you are the first to be notified when I post videos. So, so excited for this recipe. Like, comment, and share to everyone. And until next time with At Home with the Tasting Spoon. I'm up to lunch. See you.